So today I'm going to show you the uh, statistical properties of OLS. So write it here the statistical properties of OLS. Okay. Statistical properties of OLS. So this is the statistical properties of OLS. So I have several statistical properties. You may you may not get it all combined in the same book, but let me explain uh, some of this. Okay. So number one, according to the statistical properties of OLS, it is saying the regression model is linear in parameter. Not necessarily it would be linear in variables. Okay. So write it here. The regression line is linear in parameter so this is the first property so it is saying the regression line is linear in parameter okay let's write down the second one second one is is saying the values of x this means the independent variables are actually fixed Okay, the values of x are fixed. So this is the second properties. Right on the third one. Third one is saying the value of x and the value of x and and the error terms error terms are independent so you are saying the third one is saying the values of uh, value of x uh, and i'm sorry error it r so values of x and error terms are independent so there is no relationship between x and the error terms i mean there is no relation between the value of x and the error terms so we can write it that the covariance between xi and residual sir actually zero so as there is no relation so there is no the covariance would be zero so let's check out the fourth one. I'm extremely sorry for the uh, sorry for the resolution of my camera. Okay, let's write out the fourth one. What is the fourth one is saying? So fourth one is saying the conditional mean value is actually zero. Conditional mean value is zero. That's mean uh, e of ui xi equal to zero. So this expresses the conditional mean value is actually zero. Okay. The fifth one. Uh, the fifth one is saying there is homoscedasticity inside the OLS. Okay. So there is. Homo ske s c e ske dusty city. There is homo ske dusty city, which is saying that the variance of ui is equal to the standard deviation. I mean, variance. So sigma square. So you know what is sigma square means is, uh, if uh, only the sigma square is saying the standard deviation and sig, uh, sig only sigma indicates the standard deviation of sigma square means the variance. So the sigma square is equal to, what do you mean? The sigma square is equal to, you all know that, the summation of ui square, which is the residual square, divided by n minus k. 
So n is the observation number and k is the degrees of freedom, I believe. So or, uh, the uh, unknowns we have or the variables we have in there. So k, the, uh, the k is the value of variables. That's mean how much beta 1 and beta 2 we are having in our model. And uh, n is the observation number. And ui is the our residual summation squares. All right. So that is what the uh, sigma square is. So the variance is equal to the sigma square, and there is homoscedasticity, and there is no heteroscedasticity. That means all observations are actually will be same. Okay, if there if all are if one is normally distributed, that means every 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 other sample is normally distributed. Okay, this is the fifth one. Let's check out the sixth one. The sixth one is there is no autocorrelation. Okay. There is no auto co relation. There is no auto correlation. So it means the covariance of either UI, XI, or U F X F that would be equal to zero. So there is no autocorrelation. You are saying that we, we fix two model to main value. So both are actually zero. We don't have any relation between this one and this one. So that would be zero. Okay, the autocorrelation is zero. Next to the seventh one. The seventh one is saying uh, the error terms, this mean u, are actually normally distributed. Okay. The error terms, this mean ui, right? Error terms are normally distributed. So that's it. The uh, seventh one is saying the error terms are normally distributed. Okay, let's write the eighth one. The eighth one is the number of observation. Does mean n. The number of observation. Does mean small n must be must be so number of observation is greater than the number of parameters greater than the obtained thus mean uh, if we have uh, observation like uh, we have 10 X and Y value and we are obtaining uh, two parameter like beta 1 and beta 2 so obviously the number of observation must be greater than the number of parameters so that is what saying the eighth term okay so write the ninth term i'll explain in short term just write it first the ninth one is saying that the variance of x must be a positive number the variance of s variance of x must be a positive number. The tenth property says there is no multicollinearity. There is no multi or perfect. Co 
linear pretty so this is it the saying there is no multi or perfectly perfect collinearity the 11th one okay the 11th one is uh, there is random or stochastic sampling of observation that's mean the observations are random and or stochastic okay let's write it so there is random or a stochastic sampling stochastic sampling of observation so these are the 11 properties of a statistical OLS statistical properties so let's review it so um, sorry I'm relocating the camera okay all right the first one is saying the regression line is linear in parameter the second one is saying the value of x are fixed x means the independent variables so that is fixed and number three is saying the value of x that's mean the value of independent variable and error terms which are actually u so write it here ui we all know ui is error term so and the error terms are independent so there is no relation between x and ui okay no i mean the value of x and ui are actually independent so there is no relation between them because we all know that ui is actually the difference between uh, actual y and the regression line right so there is no uh, chance that there is a relation between x and y okay so that's it the statistics properties is saying that the value of x and their terms are actually independent okay the number four four is saying the conditional mean is zero so the expected value of ui uh, for x i is actually zero Okay, number fifth one is saying it is homo, uh, there is homo scholasticity, no heteroscedasticity. So, uh, if you don't know what is homo scholasticity, just go uh, for the internet and just type it in the Google and you will find the answer. What is What does it mean? So, according to homo scholasticity, the variance is equal to sigma square. So, what is sigma square is? Sigma square is means uh, the uh, square value of residual summation summation of the square value of ratio was square divided by the degrees of freedom where n is the number of observation and k is the number of parameters so if we have beta 1 and beta 2 that means the value of k is uh, 2 and if we have three parameters like beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 so the value of k would be 3 and for observation uh, the number of observation is as we know how much observation we have taken so that is the number of n all right and we have to calculate the value of ui square so if you don't know please go to the previous term we have already seen how to calculate the uh, sigma square i am giving the link below so please check the math so you will be get idea how to calculate sigma square so i'm not explaining it right now okay the sixth one is saying there is no autocorrelation this means uh, if we have two sets so they both sets are actually independent they have there have no uh, relation between or they did they are not actually uh, building any kind of or establishing any kind of relation between them okay so there is the covariance between x y x i u i and x i and u f uh, slash x f are actually zero which means uh, these two are actually independent they have no really correlation the seventh one is saying the euro term u i are normally distributed so nothing to explain here uh, the eighth one is saying the number of observation n must be greater than the number of parameter to be obtained so it is clear that the number of observation must be greater than the number of parameter this means beta 1 and beta 2 or beta uh, to be obtained so parameter would be smaller than the number of observation or the number of observation would be greater than the number of parameters uh, the ninth one is saying the variance of x that's mean the independent variable independent variables variance must be a positive number okay uh, number 10 is saying there is no multi or perfect collinearity 
And number 11 is saying there is random or stochastic sampling of observation. This means uh, the observation we have taken for the, for the analysis, that would must be a random uh, sampling. Okay. So that is all. There's, this is the 11 properties of OLS. So thank you for watching. Keep tuning. Oh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.